James Webb Telescope is undoubtedly the most advanced, expensive and sophisticated space observatory ever built, but exactly how long will the telescope last for conducting its advanced research? Can it survive longer than Hubble Telescope, which although was designed for a 10-year mission, many hoped it would last for 15 or more, but it is still going strong after 31 and a half years. Costing more than $10 billion and stuffed with high technology, Webb promises to deliver us unprecedented amount of new information about the structure and evolution of our universe. But it is not all powerful and all capable. It has certain restrictions, limitations and its own expiration date. Webb was only designed for a primary 5-year mission with hopes that it might wind up lasting for 10 years or slightly over, if we get very lucky. The telescope wasn't designed to be refueled, repaired or upgraded in any way whatsoever. Whatever is on board at the time it's launched is what we will be stuck with for as long as it remains operational. No crewed vehicle has ever ventured significantly beyond the far side of the moon and no planned spacecraft through 2030s, including Artemis, has the capacity to reach it. The potential benefits to making web serviceable were studied, but were determined not to be worth the increased cost, the increased complexity and the increased mass that it would introduce. As such, web is fundamentally limited by what it's initially outfitted with. That doesn't just include its optics, instruments, sunshade and other equipment but it's onboard fuel as well. James Webb has a propulsion system that provides maneuvering capability for orbital insertion, station keeping and spacecraft momentum management. Webb uses thrusters. Located on the spacecraft, they are oriented so that torque can be applied in roll, pitch or yaw control axes. For momentum unloads, these thrusters are fired so that the applied torque provides the desired change in the angular momentum. The observatory's momentum is managed both predictively and in real time by the attitude control system to keep the observatory under control at all times. All of this requires fuel. That fuel, as it turns out, is the single most limiting factor when it comes to Webb's lifetime. NASA expects the telescope will likely have enough propellant to support scientific operations for longer than 10 years. The extra propellant is thanks to the precision of RN5 rocket that launched Webb into space. It also due to the precision of the first and second mid-course correction maneuvers, small trajectory tweaks that the spacecraft has completed in the day since launching, setting it on a path toward L2. According to NASA, the precision of these maneuvers leaves the spacecraft with more propellant that it can use to maintain its final position for observing the cosmos. Commenting on the remaining fuel for James Webb, mission systems engineers said, roughly speaking, it's around 20 years. The space agency warns, however, that many factors could ultimately affect James Webb's lifespan. Being an exquisitely sensitive infrared observatory, Webb's optics and scientific instruments need to be cold to suppress infrared background noise. Moreover, the detectors inside each scientific instrument need to be extremely cold, less than 7 Kelvin. This temperature is not possible on Webb by passive means alone, so it carries a cryocooler. Being a refrigerator and a closed system, the cryocooler doesn't consume coolant like a nice chest full of ice or a big container of liquid helium, and so its life is limited only by wear in its moving parts, like the pumps or the longevity of its electronics, all of which should last for many, many years. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and check our other videos about James Webb Space Telescope.